Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. We're starting off immediately where we left off last time. There hasn't even been a break for me because, you know, you get to that point where it's just like, I want to see what happens next. I can't stop right now. I'm going to keep going. The only thing that stopped me was the fact that I should divide the episodes. Otherwise, the video... You know that these video files, they actually become uh, uneditable if they go over one hour. Through the fact that the file just becomes way too heavy and Premiere explodes when I'm trying to edit it. That's another reason why the, the length of the episodes is like this. It's just that quality, man. I'm gonna give you guys that quality. Earth Tree Heal. Earth Tree Heal. Vastly heals HP for self and nearby allies. Okay. Two hundred and eighteen thousand. Well, at least get one more level out of it, and then I'll lose the other whatever thousand runes that are left because I don't even bother picking up the the runes anymore when I'm at bosses. It's like we're so over leveled. I mean, not over leveled, but the levels are just so high that the amount of souls is just insignificant. The amount of runes is insignificant at this point. Now, this, I think, will be the final boss fight, but it's weird because we still haven't... There are still things that I haven't seen. It's very weird. Who's here? I think it's going to be Mikola. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Who's this? Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. He's got a sweet axe. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. After the axe is burnt. To be granted audience once more. <laughs> Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Very well, Godfrey. Is it another two-faced fight? It is. still phase one this is phase two <clears throat> that 
will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. I've given thee courtesy enough. <sighs> now I fight just horror loo. Horror loo? Lu was the first Elden Lord? I want off this crazy ride. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like, was I really that close and I didn't get him and now I'm going to wipe a million times? No way, dude. Don't do me dirty like that. Also, I forgot one thing before we continue the... Um we continue the attempts here. Because I know that some people are going to go like, Oh my god, I can't believe he didn't do it. He didn't fucking do it. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's this one. Remember Samalek at the Black Blade, hewn into the Earth Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternately, Malekith was a shadow-bound beast given to his Empyrean Marika's soul. The need of her shadow was a vessel to lock away destined death, even though she betrayed him. Even then, she betrayed. It was a shadow-bound beast given to his Empyrean. America's sole need of her shadow was a vassal to lock away destined death. Even then, she betrayed him. Can I get his armor, I wonder? I can. Malaketh's armor. Malaketh, Queen America's loyal half-brother bore a blade imbued with destined death and there was not one demigod who did not fear him. Champions knew it was at stake. Indeed, that is what made them champions. His armor looks pretty badass. Is there a helmet? Beast's helm made of black iron decorated with gold, worn by Malak at the black blade. Okay. And now let's see what the power is from his thing. Black blade, spinning slash, wave of flight, cast creates illusion, black blade leaps forward to deliver a spinning slash, emits waves of light, this can be followed up with an additional attack. This blade is one of the abuse of death and death, in addition to dealing damage, reduces foes maximum HP and continues to sap their HP for a very short time. This is why my health was lower when I would re respawn. Malekith's black blade, which once harbored the power of the rune of death, the sad shadow of its former glory. After a fragment of death was stolen on that fateful night, Malekith bound the blade with his own flesh, such that none might ever rob death again. So they stole the fragment of death from Malekith in order to go and kill... Uh, who was it? 
Godwin? Godwin. Set free the remnants of death and death, plunging the greatsword into the ground to summon a myriad of blades. In addition to dealing immediate damage, this attack would just... Okay. It scales with faith and strength. Deals holy damage. Colossal sword. Alright. I just wanted to check these before I went back to doing laps on, um, doing laps with, doing laps with, uh, Hora Lu, apparently. Got him! Remembrance of Hora Lu. Can I get that sweet axe, please? For the love of all that is holy, tell me I can get that sweet axe. I'm so so- dude, I- <laughs> I can't believe that on my first attempt I was so close. And then I fumbled it so many times. It's because that second phase, I don't know if it was RNG or whatever, but I got really good... You know, I got some really good hits during that second phase that I almost killed him on the first try. That was amazing. Can I get his armor even? That's another thing. I need to go check up on that stuff pronto. Pronto, my guys. I wish I could talk to Melina. She's not here anymore. No corpse left, no nothing. Alright, let's uh, head back here. Let's see what's up with his remembrance. Also, my voice is completely gone. This has to be the last episode I record today. I'm like dying. Also an important thing. I'm going to put one point into dexterity. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's not put one point at the dexterity right now, because I wanted to take off the Radagon charm, and I couldn't. Because of the axe. Yes! An axe! Let's look at it. Scales, double D. That's okay. We can, we can work with that. We can work with that. 
Regal Roar. Weapon of Godfrey, Elden Lord, who was broken in the battle, fought as a leader of the Tarnished during the Long March. This weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord, later becoming an emblem of the Golden Lineage. In the days of the past, the crown was warranted with strength. Let loose a mighty war cry, raising attack power while sending out a shockwave that cannot be guarded against by stomping the ground. While active, strong attack becomes a lunging slash. Ash of War, Horalu's Earthshaker. This Ash of War grants an armament the heavy infinity and the following skill. Horalu's Earthshaker, slam both hands into the ground to violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave. Follow up with an additional input to slam the ground again. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I want both of them. Finally, something that I want, and I want both of them. Starting with the axe. So we're going to go to one of those remembrance mausoleums or whatever. I think that there's one, like, right about here. Which is, like, the first one that I ever brought down. Because I brought down plenty. I don't know if I brought down all of them. But I've brought down plenty. And I'm finally going to use one for the very first time. Yay! Not that I plan on using the heavy uh, thing. Well, well, we'll check it out. We'll see it. But, like, this one definitely has the stuff that I'm more interested in. We'll have to respec as well so that I get, like, enough dexterity. Double this one. Wait, what? Okay. For a second, I was like, what the hell? Okay, yeah, you can only do it once. Alright, that's that's pretty much what I expected. So now we're gonna go get those two items. And... I'm probably going to respec. So that I don't need... Um, Radagons, because I, I want to get rid of Radagons, to be honest. I've been meaning to get rid of Radagons for a while now. Do that. Do that. Cute. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Shall we do it now? Yeah, why not? Hey, I beat Horalu. How you doing? I see. I wonder if you would say something now that I've beaten Horalu. Also, how adequate is it that my character was a hero? Oh, he's losing it. Could you tell me what happened? Why is the round table burning? In ruins. Why does that girl weep for me? Oh. Have I forgotten something of dire importance? He's going hollow. That's sad. I see. Oh, so it wasn't just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh. I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now. But maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness in whatever small way I can. Feels bad, man. Okay, well, I want you to upgrade Horalu's axe to the nth degree, my guy. To the nth degree. Let's go. Ba boom. Now, we want to respec. Well, I might as well level up. Don't need to be walking around with all these runes. Up, uh, strength. Uh, 
I'm probably gonna get cut down on vigor, I think. A little bit. Because the point here is, I'm gonna need 14 dexterity to wield that axe. I'm gonna get that 14 dexterity. Because I wanna wield that axe. Um, it is 14 dex, right? It's only C scaling? Oof. This is way better. <laughs> this is way better. But I mean, this one's got Regal Roar, so whatever. Um, this requires 42 strength. I still want to have like 60 strength at least. So, rebirth me with 60 strength. Is it thy yes. Now. Okay, so we need at least 60 strength. 12 faith, 14 dexterity, and that leaves us with, uh, you know, I want equal amounts of endurance and vigor, so let's just go for this. How many levels do I have left? Um, 152, that is 20. Wait, what? How's that possible? No, not 20. Uh, 18. So that puts us at 58 Vigor, 60 Endurance. Sounds about right. Now the thing that I'm curious, can I buy his armor? Because his armor looked badass. Let's see if we can buy his armor. Hopefully it's a good armor. I still don't think I'll get rid of my helm. My helm is so cool. Uh, equipment of champions. Yeah, you can get his Elden Crown. Where's the chest piece? Elden Lord Armor. That's actually not very good. It's very light. It's very light armor. Let's see the description. Crown of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The age of the Earth Tree began amongst conflict when Godfrey was Lord of the Battlefield. He led the war against the Giants, faced the Storm Lord alone. And then there came a moment when his last worthy enemy fell. And it was then, as the story is told, that the hue of Lord Godfrey's eyes faded. So he was forged in battle and that's all he knew. And then he only came back because, at least I'm assuming, he only came back because there was a worthy opponent, which was us. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but we'll be keeping our armor right now. Uh, I don't know about these legs, though. Probably use these legs instead. Yeah. Now we can choose. We can go double axes or hammer and axe. So this deals 700 and change. This deals 700 and change. I think this one's actually even more. I don't want to do quick maths. Should though. So if you put 40, that'll be 400. Not 400. Yeah, 400. Put 40, that'll be 400. 408. Then we put 9. It'll be 417. 417, then 300 more. 717. Whereas this one, it's the same thing. 717. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> they deal the same damage. But this one's got Scarlet Rot buildup, and this one's got uh, badass weapon art. I gotta check out the Regal Roar. Uh, it looks kind of... Actually, I don't like the way it looks. I don't- I don't like the way it looks. <sighs> oh, if only it was like fixed, but it's not. It's broken, so I don't like the way it looks. <sighs> Feels bad, dude. Oh no. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's take it to the Elden Throne.
Let's actually push forward, see what happens. That's pretty badass. There's yet another boss fight. Which I suspect is Mike Keller. Marika. Oh, that's not Marika. Is it Radagon? It's Radagon with the red hair. Well, all right then. <clears throat> this ain't it.
golden beast.
Wait, fractured Marika? But I was fighting Radagon. Use Mending Rune of the Death Prince. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age of the Duskborn. And that is the end of the very first, the only actually, Rurikon Elden Ring blind playthrough. I need some time to gather my thoughts. I will be making an impressions video. Now I can also do a discussion video that I plan on doing potentially with Fighting Cowboy. And, you know, actually talk about spoilers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to doing future playthroughs, but uh, I think the next one needs to be one just for me. Where I just, like, chill out. Don't have the, the pressure of having to record it. I'll probably put out, like, a video review at some point. But uh, that's going to be a while still. Because I really need to, like, gather all of my thoughts. Because there's a, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things to talk about, but at this point, if you're gonna ask me whether or not I recommend it, I'd be like, you should have bought this game like fucking a month ago, over a month ago. By the time this video comes out, you should have bought it maybe two months ago. Sort your life out. Buy this game. It's amazing. It's awesome. I mean, if you enjoy Souls, that is. But um, yeah, I'm gonna let the, the credits play all the way, guys. I always let the credits play all the way, but as per usual, Thank you very much for um, watching alongside. Thank you for the outstanding support during this playthrough. You guys have been phenomenal. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.